Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Risen playthrough. So we're gonna sell the fish shack, and we're gonna go talk to Ulf. So we got two pretty solid quests to do here. So we're right where we left off. So let's head back into the town. I couldn't uh, get in to talk to Ulf. I don't know if I did something wrong, but there's actually a way to get in and talk to him, so I will show you. He's also where we can learn prospecting, which I've been waiting forever to learn. I've always really liked doing uh, crafting weapons and stuff, so prospecting is kind of a big deal for me. So you're going to need rum to do this quest, and... In the last episode where we ended, I showed you where that rum was. So this is the guy that uh, wants to sell his fish shack. What sort of fish do you have? Everything the sea can provide. Herring just caught and placed so fresh it doesn't even know it's dead yet. Is that all? No. I also have shark. A nice shark steak will revive the weariest spirit. And you look like you could do with that. You're pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Well, I figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with this wench. She said she liked fish. And then... Oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the storms, there aren't even many fish being caught. Why don't you sell the store, then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish stall? See? That's what I should have said to myself. But that wench was so very beautiful. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this stall. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. I'll find you a buyer for your stall. Wonderful! Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk, or crazy, or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. I have faith in you, my friend. Here, have a shark steak on the house. Where do you think I can find a buyer? If I knew, I'd have asked them myself. Maybe the harbour? The tavern? You could ask the fishermen. At least they'd know about fish. How much do you want to sell your stall for? Hmm. Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. So this quest is kind of cool because... We'll actually get a strength plus three ring. So we have to talk to Nico. Is this him right here? No, 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 he's inside. Nico, Nico, Nico. Right here, Nico. Hey, stop staring at me. You never seen a fisherman before. Didn't mean to stare. I'm drinking, not talking. Unless you're buying, you're walking. You got any rum? So right here is where we did the rum. I've got some rum for you. Ah, bliss. She may be cruel in the mornings, but she's a fine mistress night and day. Light on the tongue, warm to the body. So, you're a fisherman. I lost my boat in those vile storms we've been having. Now I have nothing. Patty's good to me though. Let's me run a tab. I'm looking for a buyer for a fishmonger's. What, Phyllis is? What's that to me? Wouldn't a fishmonger's be just the thing for a fisherman? I catch fish. I don't sell them. Perhaps you should think about a change of career. Hmm, perhaps. And you don't have any work right now. True, true. How much would this stall cost me? It's yours for 300 gold pieces. I don't have a coin to my name. But maybe I have something else. Something else? I'll need your help. To do what? Listen, I have something valuable we can trade. And this thing is worth 300 in gold? Shush, not so loud. And yes, it's an artifact from the ruins. Why are you running a tab at the bar? when you own an artifact. I can't sell it. If the Inquisition find out, there'll be hell to pay. 
I see. But I'll sell it to you for 300. I'm sure it's worth more. Then I can use the gold to buy the shop, and you could take the profit from the artifact. What sort of artifact is it? It's a ring. I think it's magical. So, do we have a deal? Okay. Sell me the ring. Believe me, you're getting one good deal right there. Don't let Carlos or his people catch you with it, though. So, you'll buy the fish stall? Yeah. Fish from the shore in the mornings, sell during the day. Gotta be better than what I'm doing right now. Phyllis will be happy to hear that. All right, so we got the ring. Nico's ring, uh, strength plus three. Jesus, so let's put that on. Uh, pretty cool. So let's go back and tell him that we uh, found a buyer for his fish shop. I found someone. Nico will buy your store. What? Is he crazy? Oh well, his craziness, my escape. Thank you for finding him. Here, I found this clam in a fish crate. Might be of use to you. Now you're fish free, what will you do now? I'm going to Patty's. I'll get the gold from Nico on the way, and then I'm going to get very, very drunk. All right, so he gave us two pearls. So, okay, we finished that quest. So now I wanna go talk to Olaf, learn how to do prospecting, and he's got a quest for us to do for him also. And he's also, I believe, the treasure hunter. Earlier we had a quest where we had to find a treasure hunter, so... This is gonna all play out really nicely. So, uh, according to everything I've read, you're supposed to just come up here and talk to Hernandez after you do the three golden bowls quest, but it's not really working for me, he just yells at me. Stop, not one step further. See, he doesn't really talk to me other than that. So to get in, to talk to Ulf since he's in this building, uh, you can actually go in the balcony over here. Let's do a quick save, because you gotta go kind of fast, so I'm gonna do a quick save and then see if I can make it. So we're in, and we gotta talk to him real fast. Because the bad guys are coming. Well, you're not a member of the Inquisition. And you don't look like a fighter. I'm not. I'm a treasure seeker. Ruins searched, tombs emptied, valuables recovered, pockets lined. When I'm not being held prisoner, that is. Can you teach me anything? I can show you how to prospect for ore with a pickaxe. I thought you were a treasure seeker. Hacking into a hidden wall or prospecting for ore, it's all the same. Only ore is much less interesting than treasure. Show me how to prospect. Show me how to prospect. First, you have to be able to tell where ore can be found. You can't just go swinging at any old rock. How do I recognize ore deposits? The stone glitters, and the structure of the rock is different. Often you can see ore bubbles. They hang on the rock like pimples. When you find a good rock, take the pick in both hands and swing straight. That's very important. The point has to hit the deposit square on, or the rock will splinter, then it's worthless. Don't expect to be as good as I am from the off. It takes practice. But put in the time and you can make decent coin from prospecting. You're a treasure seeker. Any good? You work alone? Just me and my brothers. Me, Deiter, and Dirk. Triplet treasure seekers. Fancy that. Three heads are better than one. And three sets of arms when it comes to shoveling. We know our craft. Not like the amateurs that fill the ruins with now. We came a long way to end up on this island. And now we're stuck here. Who do you triplets work for? We're free agents. We work for whoever pays the most. Pay us, we'll deliver. Treasure seeking is just digging, isn't it? You think? There's skill to it. That's why we're paid. Skill and danger. We've sailed the most dangerous seas and gone where fighters fear to tread. What kind of job are you looking for? We're not fussy. At least not while we're stuck here, we're not. If you have a job for us, then don't stay silent. Although, you'll have to help us get out of town first. I definitely can't help you if I'm locked up. You need me? 
You'll have to convince Hernandez to let me go. I could use your help. There's a large temple on the east of the island. It's still sealed. The Inquisition can't have found it yet. That sounds promising. Temples almost always equal treasure, especially on this island. What does the entrance look like? The entrance is blocked. It looks like it's collapsed. Ah, that's no problem. Show us where the temple is, and we'll open it up. But we're going to have to get free of this place to do it. I'll get you out of town. You sound like you take pride in your work. I like that. Well, if you're up for it, you'll have to deal with the guard at the entrance. I doubt I'll get out of here unless you can persuade Hernandez to free me. Shouldn't your brothers know what we're planning? Yes. Tell them to come to our meeting point. They'll know where I mean. How do I convince Hernandez to let you go? Well, you know why they're holding me. They want the three bowls. So? Get those three bowls out of circulation. I'm suddenly less interesting. Find them. Make them disappear. Okay, I'll tell them to go there. Great. I bet they're drinking themselves into a stupor in the Gutter's Tavern or on the Harbor Quay. Alright, so let's get out of here. Out. So we did the Golden Bulls quest in the last episode. So we should be able to just talk to him. He'll come back. Is that him? I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker, what is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. And he's gonna stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. The business with Carrasco and the Golden Bowls has been dealt with. You can let the prisoner go. Oh, is that so? I tracked down the people who had the bowls, but they sold them to smugglers. So they'll be miles away by now. Looks like Carrasco failed to stop the smugglers. Are you sure? Absolutely. Well, I suppose there's no point in wasting food on Ulf then. We've more to be worried about than some bowls. Wait here. I'll get him. Hey, send the prisoner out here. All right, so he's free. So now we have to go talk to his brothers. But let's uh, wait for him to come out, just in case. The Inquisition is letting you go. Nice work. Can't say I'm sad to be leaving this dingy hole. One hole to another, though. How do we get out of this town? I'll go down to the Harbor Quay and find my brothers. Once you can get us out of town, come and find us. But make sure the way is really clear, okay? We're not too fond of being led into traps. Catch you later. All right, so let's go get his, his uh, two brothers. One of them's at the tavern. And uh, they, we have to tell them to go to the meeting spot. And the meeting spot's actually right here. So if you're wanting, this is where they're gonna go. So it's uh, Daitar. This is the brother that's in here, I believe. Who are you? You interested or not? You're one of the triplets, right? You know my brothers? I've met one of them. Your brother, Ulf, wants you to go to your meeting point. Thanks. I'm on my way. All right. We're going to talk to Dirk. And we've already uh, talked to him before, so... You might remember where he is. He's back here. Oh, hey, the new shop owner's here. Ruins in the east, I heard. Then they talk about ruins all over the place. 
Alright, there's Dirk. Who are you? Name's Dirk. I'm an acquirer of rare and valuable items. A treasure seeker. Just like my brothers. Runs in the family, you could say. I know, I've met both your brothers. Then I'm sure you'll know all there is to know about us. So you trade artifacts then? Not much getting in and out of Harbor Town. People gotta make a living any way they can. Most of those ways. Well, you wouldn't write home to your ma about them. I'll soft looking for work until things pick up. I just want to get back to the ruins again. Good place for treasure seekers. Ulf sent me. You're supposed to rendezvous at the meeting point. Great. So, he's okay. Thanks for the message. I'll see you around. Alright, let's head Nothing to the changes. rendezvous point. About you escaping town. I told your brothers to come here. Thanks. I appreciate that. Guess I have to wait. Really? They're gonna make me wait? You gotta be kidding me. Nah, looks like I have to wait till the guy walks here. Um, I'll go sleep till morning right here. Maybe that'll speed it up. The, uh, the the brothel bed it's probably not the <laughs> the most delightful bed to sleep in oh it's him still walking About you escaping town. Now all three of you are here, you can leave town. Just tell us how, and we're out of here. There's a secret tunnel in the back storeroom of Madame Sonia's brothel. It leads right out of town. Right. We'll meet in the storeroom. Then you can show us this tunnel. See you there. Just gotta follow these guys. About you escaping town. I've checked it. The path through the tunnel is clear. Okay, let's check it out, boys. Once we get outside, we'll probably make camp on the beach outside the town's walls. So, if you're in the market for treasure seekers, you'll know where to find us. On the beach, right? We'll hit the road now. Good luck with whatever it is you're up to in this island. Okay, so they're gonna head out to the beach. You guys can go over here if you haven't done it already, and there's some loot. Like, here's a chest. I have to pick it. That didn't do it. It worked. So it's right, left, left, right. There's some loot here. And then if you go upstairs... There's this button here. You can read this book stand. Wisdom plus three, I believe. Interesting. Um, 
Nautilus Transformation Large Potion and Amulet of the Dawn Family. So this is, I think, the first amulet we've found. Which isn't bad. Piercing Protection plus 10. Okay, um, left, uh, right, left. That wasn't it. So left, right, right, left. It worked. Some gold. So yeah, you can loot that up. So let's go check on those guys, see if they're down at the beach yet. Also, there's a vial here you can loot, and then there's a pickaxe right here. Now we have uh, prospecting, so. And here they are. There's uh, got Patty here. We helped escape in the last episode, and we got all the brothers here, so. Awesome. So I think we're uh, I think we're done with Harbor Town, guys. I think I've done all the quests except for maybe one or two of them, at least that I know of. So that's cool. So we finally get to do some new stuff. So stay tuned for the next episode. It should be pretty uh, entertaining. We'll see what we do next. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.